And this is Phantom Pesos. I just hopped off the porch with Dirty Glove Bastard. Gang. Getting tired of fake love, stay the off in my face. One question I ain't heard was pesos, you okay? If I said hell no, nah, you can. All right, today we got Phantom Pesos in the building with us today. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me. What's going on, gang? Not much. You made me just enjoying Atlanta, Georgia. You feel for me? For sure. What you out here working on in the A? I had a couple video shoots. You feel me? I had a little show. You feel me? Just trying to network. That's about it, for real. How often did you come out here to Atlanta, bro? This my first time. Swear. Yeah, this my first time. Me and the boys. First yeah. time. You feel me? So how was the show? It was a lot of stuff, you know, that be going on with the promotions and stuff, you feel me? Like, uh, the host in our contract, she didn't want to perform was on stage while she was there. I wasn't finna perform when she was gone. So, you feel me? We jetted out of there, you feel me? But we was still there, you feel me? With little strippers and stuff, you feel me? Enjoying. Little vibe. It was cool, you feel yeah. me? I wasn't tripping off of it. How's it working out here in Atlanta versus working back home? Ooh, crazy, different. Like, you feel different, like. And back home, it's like, it's a lot of hate, a lot of hatred, you feel me? Every time somebody do something, it's like they're not supporting you for real, for real. They just mad at you for real, for real, because you're doing it. Up here, it's like they really want you, you feel me, to be good or something like that. You feel me? I ain't used to that. Yeah. How would you describe growing up in Pine Bluff, Arkansas? Whew. And, and it ain't for the week, I'm going to put it like that, you feel me? Like it was the goods, it was the, the bads, you feel me? But when you used to something, that's all you know. You feel me? Like, like wasn't nobody down there scared. I can't lie, there ain't one really no scary people down there. You feel me? It's just who gonna step on who when they step on you. You feel me? Like, it's the trenches, you feel me? But it's home, you feel me? So when would you say you jumped off the porch? <sighs> I be saying 15, but now that I think about it, you feel me? Like, all my partners, big bro, they all know, like, I was about 12, you feel me? Come from the west side. I was like 12 on the east side, just thugging, you feel me? Like, throwing out the west side on the east, all that, you feel me? Like, we a little bad kid, but we were good kids too, if that makes sense. Like, school wise, you feel me? Good in school, but like, outside of school, you feel me? I went to Project Acting the Fool, you feel me? That's just how it was. For sure. And you moved to Kansas at 16, right? Yeah, 16. Yep, 16, you feel me? It, it kind of different, you know, switching environments, you feel me? Yeah. How would you say the two cities different for each other? Because, <laughs> like, Arkansas, if it's an issue for real, for real, they going to they gonna let you know, you feel me? Up here, they're going to act like they're your brother. They're going to act like they your homie. They're going to act like they all that until they catch you slipping, you feel me? It ain't like that, you feel me? They do that everywhere, though, don't get me wrong, but it's, you feel me, more up front. In Arkansas, you feel me? Yeah. yeah. Would you say it was an easy adjustment moving to Kansas? It's never easy, you know, moving, adapting to new people. You don't know people, you feel me? You don't know how they think, you don't know how they move, you feel me? But like, you don't even know the people from your city, for real, for real. So like, I'm just like, you feel me? Just had to make the best of it, you feel me? How would you describe getting kicked out at age 17? <sighs> like, you feel me? It made me who I am today. Like, I wouldn't change it, you feel me? I tell my mom all the time, you feel me? I be like, I ain't tripping off that. I ain't having no grudge no more. You feel me? That's gone because, you feel me, that made me who I am today. I needed to go through that. You feel me? Open my eyes. I needed to struggle, you feel me, more on my own, you feel me? Open my eyes better. What would you say is the biggest life lesson you learned growing up? Everything ain't what it seemed. Everything ain't what it seemed, you feel me? You got to, you feel me? Think more, speak less, you feel me? The more you know, the less you talk, the better off you're gonna be, the longer you survive out here. For sure. So when would you say you started making music? I've been rapping since a uh, younger. I ain't gonna lie. I've been rapping since a younger. But I ain't start like taking it serious till May twenty first last year when you feel me, my best friend had died, you feel me, my brother, you feel me, long live Mac, you feel me. When he died, that's when I took it serious, you feel me. I mean he used to do it younger, you feel me? Like, that was like my twin, you feel me? So, like, you feel me? I'm like, all right, I gotta turn up for him, you feel me? That's what I've been doing. What motivates you to start taking it more serious? My daughter. My daughter, you feel me? Cause when she came, you feel me? I was down broke, you feel me? I was down bad, you feel me? You feel me? But when she came, she made me, you feel me? Like, all right, cool, I gotta get in my bag some type of way, you feel me? So, like, I wanna say her, huh? and went broke past, for real, for real. For sure. And who would you list as some of your musical influences, like people who inspired you to rap? 
mm, like growing up, you feel me? Like, like I'm gonna just say like, cause the, the Chief Keef era, that was, that was a crazy little era, you feel me? Yeah. So I gotta say like, Chief Keef, you feel me? G Herbo, you feel me? Like, you feel me? Them like one of my top, I, I mess with Vaughn too, you feel me? But like, yeah, I gotta go with them right there. For sure. Yeah. How did you get your rap name? And it go back to me and bro's situation, you feel me? Like back in the eighth and ninth grade, we was called Peso Pesos, you feel me? Like that was his name and I was Pesos Chronicle, you feel me? I moved up to Kansas, you feel me? Like people was like, what the hell Peso Chronicle mean? Ooh, ooh. So you feel me, I just changed my name to Pesos, you feel me? And when he died, you feel me, I'm just like, I'm just gonna keep my name that, you feel me? I just ain't changed from that. And I put the Phantom in the front. You know, Phantom is another word for ghost, you feel me? Like the ghost of Mac, you feel me? He living through me. So, you feel me, because I'm bringing twice the trouble every time somebody see me, you feel me? So that's why I got my name like that. That's a player. Yes, sir. What's your current thoughts on the rap game? Washed up, watered down. You ever drink watered down Kool-Aid? You <laughs> ever be like, this is the little gas, huh? And then you sip it, you be like, it ain't what you thought it was going to be. You feel me? Because I ain't going to lie, when I first started, man, I couldn't wait to do a certain lot of stuff, you feel me? And then when I finally, like, seen, like, how people really move, like, everybody really the same, you feel me? Everybody really the same, you feel me? Just with different little fan bases, that's all it is. For sure. What would you say is the biggest risk you took that paid off? Believing in myself, not giving up on myself, when everybody else gave up on me, you feel me? Like, this rap stuff, you feel me? That was a risk, you feel me? Like, you know, everybody know how dangerous that get, you feel me? People just want to fake beats, all that, woo -woo, you feel me? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. How would you describe the music scene back at home? Right? Both in Arkansas and Kansas. In Arkansas, they starting to pop for real, for real now. You feel me? All little niggas, they out there, you feel me? They out there doing that shit. I ain't gonna even lie. They out there moving that. You feel me? It's hard with the support, though. For real, for real, because it's so small. And you fuck with who you fuck with, you feel me? So, like, that's Arkansas. But Kansas, you feel me? I say it's some good artists, though. I ain't gonna lie, it's some good artists though, you feel me? It just, a lot of attitudes and shit, you know, you know how that shit go. Why do you think the talent was overlooked for so long in Arkansas? Cause it's crazy, I ain't even, you feel me? It wasn't overlooked, like, cause I was doing it at school, like, I ain't wanna do it, but they be like, hey, come rap again, dude, at lunch, woo woo woo. Cause like, that, that's what I can do, I can just look at somebody, just get on them, boom, 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 you feel me? So, you feel me? Like, I ain't even really, Dropped no song down there. I recorded one song in my mama little back little house thing. I dropped it, you feel me? But I ain't really do nothing with it, you feel me? Until I came up here. I ain't start, you feel me, really dropping until I graduated, you feel me? That's hard. Describe opening up for Polo G. Hey, that changed my life for real, for real. I ain't gonna lie, like, I was doing a lot of local, like, little local shows, little local shows, you feel me? Like, I'm like, damn, I'm ready to do some, something big, you feel me? I don't even know if I was ready for it, you feel me? You feel me? He was an artist from the city, I ain't gonna say the name, you feel me? He pulled the strings, got me on the show with him, you feel me? Boom, boom, boom. I mean, game, we went to that mug, you feel me? We were like, something we ain't never seen before, like, big, and you feel me? Like, so, like, the experiences, you feel me? Like, cause, like, I ran into all type of, you feel me? Like, like, people there, you feel me? That's, like, still around now, you feel me? So, like, it, it put me in the right direction, you feel me? For sure. Talk about your latest visual, Three Headed Goat. Oh, uh, yeah. That mug got the city lit. It got the city lit for, for sure. I got like, I got shorties like, when they, when they see me in public, they be like, my baby mama Angelica, you know, we had the rug right. Just like, like saying my verses back to me, you feel me? Like, it went up quick too, you feel me? Like, we got some more coming for y'all though, for sure. And Mick, Rick and Morty was hard too. Yeah, uh, yeah, for sure. You can't sleep on that. <laughs> Shout out to that boy, Hard Body. And Stand Tall. You got to talk about all of them. Uh, yeah, Stand Tall, man. I ain't gonna lie. You feel me? That one right there. That's really when I started back. You feel me? Because I took a break. You feel me? Because we had a little wreck and shit. You feel me? It was going through some things. You feel me? I took a break. Pop back out with that. You feel yeah. me? You feel me? They were like, damn, you need to drop more. You need to drop more. You need to drop more. Me, I don't drop all the time, you feel me? You gotta wait for it, you feel me? So, like, you feel me? When we drop that, we like, all right, cool, you feel me? That's how we came with Three Headed Goat, you feel me? Yeah. They build it up for it, you feel me? Just like how you building it up for Mike Tyson right yeah, now? Yeah, the whole time, you feel me? Think about it. <laughs> Talk about your forthcoming project. See, for real, for real, 
it was really for, you feel me, my boy Mac, you feel me? But then, you feel me, I was thinking, I'm like, I'm gonna sit on it, I probably won't even drop it to next year, you feel me? I'm like, like my tape wise, but video wise, you feel me? I got this little video that I just shot out here. That's gonna be the first one I drop back, you feel me? So probably like three weeks, you feel me? I'm gonna drop it, you feel me? Like, it's gonna be hard, that's all I'm gonna say about that. I don't even wanna spoil it too much. For sure. Just know that's gonna be hard, for sure. For sure. And if you wanted the people at home or the world to know one thing about Mac 9, what would it be? Man, realest nigga you know, man. Like, you, you ain't feel no jealousy about him. You ain't feel no envy. Nothing like, like, Shorty was official for sure. He ain't, he ain't, he ain't, he ain't never talk behind nobody back, you feel me? Like, you feel me? Like, that's all I could really say for real, for real. Just the real. Talk about the independent grind of being an independent artist. It get tough, it get lonely, frustrated, you feel me? You be thinking you by yourself, you be thinking you lonely, you feel me? Like, you'll see certain of your partners sharing other people's music, but won't share your music. You don't want to approach them about it because you don't want to seem weird about it, you feel me? So you just take it to the chin, you feel me? And that build up a little secret envy and hate too, you feel me? So like, it, it's hard, you feel me? But then again, when you get comfortable with yourself and yourself, you feel me? You don't really be, you don't really be worried about what nobody else say no more, you feel me? You just do what you do, you feel me? Would you ever consider signing to a major? I thought about it, but then at the time, you feel me? Another thing, like, they gonna be making money off of me. Well, me and my manager can be making money off of me. You feel me? Like, you gotta finesse the system, don't let the system, the, the system finesse you. Cause at the end of the day, if a label just throw any artist some money, they gonna take it for real, for real. Cause everybody want, you feel me, to be famous for the internet. It's all for the internet. I wanna make sure my people are straight in real life. You feel me? Okay. You know, that's real shit, you feel me? How important is fatherhood to you? It's better than any hood. Better than any hood, you feel me? And like where I'm from, that shit <laughs> trenches the whole place, the whole city the trenches down there, you feel me? And you feel me? I love my niggas from where I'm from, you feel me? I love them to death, but don't nothing compare to how I feel when it comes to my kids. I'm a whole different person, you feel me? Like, for real, you feel me? That's real. So what else are you working on at the moment? Right now, you feel me? Just knocking out these shows back in the city, you feel me? Just keep building, you feel me, the name, Q, you feel me? Knocking out these shows, you feel me? Still knocking out visuals, you feel me? Cause like, I'm a, you feel me, individual artist though, but I'm still in the group though, you feel me? So you feel me, we still be dropping shit, you feel me? So shooting shit and shit, so I'm still working, you feel me? It just, I'ma pop out when the time, right? For sure. Any last words and shout outs? Man, shout out to everybody back home, you feel me? Arkansas and Kansas, you feel me? Like, we up, gang shit, for real. Well, yeah, just be patient, you feel me? So, family pays up, man. Appreciate sure. having me today, gang. Gang, gang, gang. Appreciate you for having me, man. For sure. Getting tired of fake love, stay the fuck in my face. One question I ain't heard was pay, so is you okay? If I said hell nah, you can tell by my face. That's a man.